we have to understand when people mistreat us, we have to know that God is going to avenge us. So we don't have to worry about getting our revenge because God has our back. So when you see your enemy get punished by God, don't smile, don't get happy about it, don't rejoice, don't have a party, feel sorry for your enemy, pray for your enemy. If you have seen your enemy get punished and you have rejoiced because of it, you need to repent of that. If you have been happy seeing your enemy get punished, you have to repent of that because that is wrong. For instance, myself, perhaps five months ago, I believe, my lord this person was really aggravating me doing things that could have gotten me in so much trouble ah <laughs> and that day I was so angry and I usually don't get angry and I was angry for about man two hours two or three hours maybe two and I was really, really mad. And I was praying and everything like that. So after two hours, I calmed down. I received a call maybe one or two days after that day. This person told me that or what happened to my enemy. And when I heard it, I was so happy. I had a large smile on my face. Man, I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I was so happy, like overly happy. After maybe 10 minutes or so, I was feeling really bad about it. Like, why are you happy that your enemy is being punished? What is wrong with you? And after a while, I had to repent of it. And then it came to me, Kevin, what you need to do is forgive your enemy and pray for that person. And I was like, uh, <laughs> I don't want to pray for that person. That person hurt me so many times. I don't want to pray for that person. I don't. But it kept on coming to me over and over and over again. Pray for your enemy. Do it. So I prayed for that person. I even write that person. 
I am willing to still do things for that person. I had to forgive that person. So you need to forgive and repent for being happy. <laughs> How can I say that? If you gotten happy seeing your enemies get punished by God, you need to repent of that. You need to forgive your enemies as well. Even if they hurt you, my Lord, so much. You need to forgive them. You need to move on. Stop rejoicing. Stop getting happy when you see bad things happen to your enemies because that is wrong. That is evil. Listen. When bad things happen to people, who is truly happy? Demons are. So... Demons are the one, are the ones that influence people to get into sin. So once they get the person into sin, they get happy about that. So you are getting happy over something that was caused by demons. Think about that. You are getting happy over something that was caused by demons. Aren't we all in this test? Aren't all humans being tested in this world? So our fellow human is not our enemy. Our enemy are demons. But yet you are rejoicing when demons are influencing people, your enemy, you are rejoicing when bad things are happening to your enemy. And they are being punished because they were influenced by demons. We have to stop getting happy about evil stuff like that. We need to pray for our enemies. We need to pray for those who are acting really foolish. We can't rejoice anymore about stuff like that. We need to feel sorry for people like that. So I pray that this makes sense. Pray for them, love them, forgive them, be there for them. Yes, demons made that person act in the way toward you that is wrong, but defeat the demons planned, plan by treating that person nicely and building a connection with that person so you can bring that person to God. Defeat the demon's plan. Forgive, love, pray for them. This is what we must do for everyone, even the people that hurt us deeply, so be it. This is what a real Christian is. We don't act like sinful people. We forgive our enemies. We still try to help our enemies. Sinners don't. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.